Have you planted for a sorghum this season? And would you like to know how to minimize the risk of livestock suffering from prussic acid poisoning? If so, keep watching because this video will focus on some strategies to help avoid prussic acid poisoning in your stock. Hi, I'm Shannon Goblin from Ag Solutions. So sorghum is an important forage crop for livestock production in Australia, as frequent drought and high summer temperatures often reduce production from pasture alone. Although there can be significant benefits and weight gains that can be achieved by allowing stock to graze forage sorghum, there are some important things to consider to successfully graze this forage. So several plants and in particular sorghums and related species can accumulate large quantities of prussic acid. Prussic acid poisoning is caused by the release of hydrocyanic acid or hydrogen cyanide in cattle and potentially other livestock when grazing sorghum type forages. So these toxic compounds are found in the outer tissue of the plant and the enzymes that enable prussic acid production are located in the leaf tissue. So basically any event that ruptures the plant cells such as chewing, trampling, chopping, drought, freezing and wilting allows the compound and the enzyme to combine and produce prussic acid. So when a plant containing high levels of prussic acid has been eaten, the toxin can enter the bloodstream and rapidly spread throughout the body. Death by suffocation can be the result as prussic acid inhibits oxygen utilization by the cells in the body. Animals can detoxify a certain amount of hydrogen cyanide, which means that cattle and sheep should be able to consume forages containing small amounts of this compound without ill effects or signs of prussic acid poisoning. Although the detoxification of hydrogen cyanide to the harmless cyanide is a rapid process, if animals eat large amounts rapidly, they are at the greatest risk of poisoning since the rate of prussic acid formation exceeds that of detoxification. Having an adequate level of sulfur in the diet is crucial for this detoxification process. And this is because in the liver, there are various enzymes that turn poisons and toxins into harmless particles. And a lot of these enzymes are sulfur based. In addition, sulfur is involved in three very important amino acids that are cofactors that make glutathione, which is one of the most important antioxidants in the body. The greatest risk of stock succumbing to poisoning is grazing after a period of drought or a series of frosts. The young dark green growth or regrowth, especially in sorghum species, can be highly toxic to livestock. But as the plant matures and the plant height increases, the risk of poisoning reduces. The amount of prussic acid found in plants is also affected by soil fertility. A source high in available nitrogen and low in phosphorus can increase the potential of prussic acid. Hungry animals are also at greater risk as they will normally consume a larger amount of toxic material in a shorter time. Like always, prevention is better than a cure. So here are a few management strategies that can be incorporated if you're planning on running stock on forage sorghum or silk sorghum over summer. So firstly, provide stock with a professionally formulated sulfur supplement to help increase the animal's efficiency at detoxifying prussic acid. Forage sorghum is also known to be quite low in sulfur and salt. So by providing livestock with enough of these crucial minerals to help meet their requirements, gives the animal the tools it needs to have a production response. Another reason to supplement with extra sulfur is the additional weight gain that can be achieved. With scientific work reporting around a 200 grams per head per day live weight gain in stock supplemented with sulfur and salt over unsupplemented stock when grazing forage sorghum. Now that could mean around an extra 12 kilos per animal grazing forage for 60 days. And at today's Vila steer prices at somewhere around $6 per kilo for an investment of around $7 per animal, that would equate to an extra $65 per head. So it is a considerable investment in time and money when planting a cereal crop. 
and to get a return on investment it's important that stock graze the crop in its entirety without suffering from metabolic issues making sulfur supplementation an essential part of the program. Other important strategies in preventing prussic acid poisoning are things like never allow stock to graze sorghum that is less than 50 centimetres high and avoid grazing drought, stressed, immature, wilted or frost damaged plants. So also get any risky feed sources tested for prussic acid before allowing stock to consume the forage. And if buying sorghum hay, make sure it was cut during low risk conditions. Also feed stock hay before turning them out onto forage to avoid gorging by hungry stock. It also might be helpful to limit grazing to a short period of time in that first day. Strict grazing with back fencing helps by allowing animals to uniformly graze the crop down to a 20 centimetre stubble before being rotated to another area and the back fencing helps prevent the new growth from being grazed until it's at least 50 centimetres high. Of course, if you do suspect prussic acid poisoning, contact your vet for further advice and Ag Solutions has developed several scientifically formulated supplements that do provide high levels of sulfur along with broad spectrum macro and trace minerals. So these products come in a range of lick blocks and loose lick and cater for both conventional and organic markets. If you would like more information, please visit our website agsolutions.com.au, follow us on Facebook or give us a call on 1800 81 57 57. And don't forget to ask for the Megamin Sulphur range from your preferred store.